Now, it's been 16 days since the Israel-Hamas war started. Tensions are escalating on the battlefield. There are fears of a multi-front war for Israel and the threat of an on-ground invasion for Gaza. Let's tell you, take you to the site where it all started. On the morning of 7th of October, residents in southern Israel woke up to their worst nightmare. Israel was under attack. One of the very first places to bear the onslaught was Hama of Hamas was Kibbutz Beiri. Not sparing women, children and the elderly, the militants went on a killing spree here. They took dozens of hostages back to Gaza, killing hundreds at will. They left the place in ruins. Here's a report from our correspondent Vishal Pandey from Bayri in Israel. More than 100 people were killed and many kidnapped from this Kibbutzberi because this was the place where Hamas infiltrated first and they were killing everyone. Uh, I came to report uh, uh, my mom. Uh, she was uh, kidnapped uh, by Hamas. I have a uh, movie uh, that uh, uh, someone sent me from a uh, telegram group, uh, Gaza Now. Um, she was kidnapped uh, with her husband and two neighbors from Kibbutz Be'eri. And uh, I guess they are in uh, Hamas now, in, uh, in Gaza. Uh, that's it. Look at these bullet holes of the cars. And I want to say something. Sing, it's not a war. It's not a battlefield. You see the babies, the mother, the fathers in their bedrooms in the protection rooms and how the terrorists kill them. It's not a war, it's not a battlefield. It's a massacre, it's a terror act activity. Hamas killed those people who were trying to escape through this car. It's unbearable. <laughs> I have so many funerals to be in and, you know, <laughs> I, I can't even be in, in, in all the funerals you can, you can see. If, Everywhere is graves, and everywhere is, everyone is dead, monsters. Even small children were not spared by the Hamas. Sa kanyang room, tinato ko, Lola, sabi ko tara, pumunta na tayo ng bomb shelter. Bakit? Sabi ko may racket, okay. Pumasok po kami ng bomb shelter na dalawa. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.